if you have ever wondered how brands decide what features to focus on or drop, the Kano model has the answer. Kano model does two things. It is used to understand and categorize customer satisfaction in relation to product features. And secondly, it helps organizations prioritize features by analyzing how different type of requirements impact user satisfaction. It took around to learn how the Kano model breaks down customers' expectations and, and transforms product design decisions by these five requirement types. Kano model has two important aspects, customer's happiness level and how well the requirement is executed. From left to right in the illustration, the execution level is from 0 to 100%. Going from top to the bottom, the customer's happiness level is maximum. And bottom of the graph is where the customer's happiness level is the least. And neutral customer is shown in the halfway mark where the customer is neither happy nor dejected. We will look at the five requirement types of Kano model with the real life example of a car in mind. So let's start by indifferent needs. These features do not influence customer satisfaction whether they are present or not customers don't really notice or care about them. Consider this blue dot as one requirement and no matter if it is not executed well or or even it is executed perfectly, the customer happiness level remains neutral. The example of the indifferent needs of a car can be like door handles, floor mats, horn sounds. And again, you can see horn sound is 100% executed, but it does not affect user's happiness level. And even door handles, which is not executed well, also does not affect the user's happiness level. Now reverse needs. <laughs> Reverse needs actually reduces the satisfaction for customers if present. In other words, their presence decreases the customer satisfaction. The least they are, the happy the customer. And in Kano model, it goes from top to bottom. Consider this dot on the screen as engine sound of a car. The more it is executed means the more the sound of a car, the happiness level of the customer goes down as well. And again from our car example, these are the three reverse needs a car can have a complex navigation system low ground clearance and an engine sound you can see the more the requirement is executed least it makes the customer happy the performance needs these features directly correlate with the customer satisfaction the more of these features are provided the greater the satisfaction level of the customer it grows from down to the top more of the better execution of these requirements the better the user experience or happy the customer will be we can take an example of the fuel efficiency of a car. The better it is executed means more fuel efficient the car is, the happiness level of the customer will be greater. Take two more examples of performance need, engine power and info system. You can see the better they are executed, happiness of the customer goes up. The car is fuel efficient, the customer is totally happy. Then the engine power is roughly executed around 70% which makes the customer happy to that much level. An info system is an infotainment system is executed poorly means means the infotainment system of the car is almost useless and which makes the customer really unhappy about it must be needs these are the essential features that customers expect if these are missing users will be dissatisfied however if they are met they do not increase satisfaction but are seen as basic or expected qualities that's why even these type of requirements are 100% executed the happiness level of the customer does not go beyond the 50% or neutral level take examples of a brakes brakes are a no-brainer for a car the least they are executed the dissatisfied the customer will be and even if they are executed 100% the customer's level of happiness will not go beyond the neutral level Take two more examples of must be needs. These are indicator lights and headlights. Headlights in this example are not really well executed which makes customers sort of an unhappy one. Light indicators gives users a bit more happiness level though. Again, again if these type of requirements are executed 100% even then the user's experience does not go beyond the neutral level line because again they are because again they are the essential features that the customers expect to have. Last one is the delighters or the excitement needs. These are unexpected features that surprise and delight the customers leading to a high level of satisfaction. If they are not present customers may not mind as they did not expect them. And that's why when they are not executed well or even poorly executed the, the happiness level of the customer does not go beyond neutral level. Take example of a 
delighters in car self parking voice control and massage seats are the ones we can think of massage seats totally executed well which gives 100% satisfaction to a customer and one more delighted is self parking system in a car and you can see it is executed very poorly but still it does not makes the customer unhappy the customer's happiness level remains to neutral